when you diagnose this, are you looking at a CAT scan or an MRI? Uh, we look mainly at uh, clinically symptoms and then we go ahead and we order MRIs or CT scans uh, and typically we tend to do on the lumbar spine as well and the hip just to make sure most of the time MRI or, or, or CAT scans of the area might be completely normal for the most part. So we typically what we want to exclude are order condition that might mimic the sacroiliac joint condition so we might be able to go ahead and institute treatment. Keep it in mind that the way that we actually diagnose the condition will be putting an injection under x-ray guidance in that joint and the patient getting almost 100 percent relief of the symptoms just immediately so that's the way of that's what we call the gold standard of diagnosing this condition fantastic all right so let's look at some possible causes of uh, sacroiliac joint pain the doctor mentioned one which is falling on your tushy or buttocks um, heavy lifting claudia it definitely um, as Dr. Mena was explaining, since the sacroiliac joint is where you're putting the most pressure, um, if you're adding additional pressure by lifting up something heavy, um, that area can become more inflamed, more irritated, and then you tend to have more pain that's going to limit you know, your ability to sit. And as he was saying, just moving, shifting, those are some of the uh, things that patients are going to manifest. All right, let's chime in on prior lumbar fusion. Uh, prior lumbar fusion, again, um, when you're taking away the, the function of the spine, of the lower spine, um, the next region that's going to bear the brunt of the weight is going to be the sacroiliac. So basically the sacroiliac is going to be doing the job where the uh, lumbar fusion was before. Scoliosis is the next level where you have curvature of the spine either to the right or to the left. That's again going to take away um, the pressure of the spine, the job that it needs to do, and again patients focusing again, they're going to have pain there. Uh, vaginal birth just with the, um, with the hips uh, moving out of place for the um, child to come through the vaginal canal, you're going to put pressure on not only the bladder, not only other organs, but again the sacroiliac. And finally, we have um, ankylosis spondylitis, which is where you have um, ligaments become inflamed. Um, specifically here we're talking about the sacroiliac where you have it most, and then you have patients having pain specifically there and limited movement.